So yeah, I'm back on this Delta Loop mission. I've just been out in the garden actually, and uh, I just do the length. I trimmed it down from 72 feet to about 60. Well, I took four feet off it, so we'll say 68 feet. So seems pretty good. And the resonance now is one to one from I'd actually say 27 mega, well 26 megahertz right through to 30 megahertz. So that's pretty good. One to one coverage on SWR and. Um, I've written it down on the other bands uh, let's have a quick look 40 megahertz it's one to one so perfect SWR resonancy across the band it was resonant on 13 megs on that original length now it's uh, resonant on 14 megs throughout the 20 meter band one to one uh, throughout the entire band 18 megahertz we're looking at 1.7 to 2 21 megs were a bit high before now it's 1.7 to 2 or 1.5 in some parts and then we've got 1.5 SWR reading on 12 meters, 24 megahertz. So all the bands are usable now. 40 meters is still a bit high, but I can tune it. I've made a couple of decent contacts on 40 meters earlier, which is good. And uh, yeah, pretty pleased. So let's just give this guy a, chat, a shout. Cayman Islands. 100 watts. No ATU. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Got a bit of a pile up. So yeah, the 890 receiving great. So not no longer needing the ATU for most of the bands. But more importantly, it's resonant on 20 meters. That's what the length of the antenna's cut for. And like I say, roughly 68 feet of wire now, and a 4 to 1 balance though. I'll probably try it without the balance at some point. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sugar. 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 This guy's got a pile up on his hands, so yeah, I'm just running the fist mic, 100 watts, and this uh, Delta Loop antenna. Mike Zero, Yankee, Kilo, Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Wow, it's up to 20 dB now. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. So yeah, great signal. Mike 6, Echo November, Sugar 5, 9, Cayman. Tango 9, Yankee Hotel Radio. Three, Tango 9, a Yankee Hotel Radio, 5, 9, Cayman. The Zulu Fox, 2, Papa Gold. Mike 0, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Okay, Mike 0, go next. Thank you very much. It's Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. You're five nine plus ten. Uh, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra, five nine Cayman. Thank you very much. Have fun. Zulu Fox Two. Uh, Zulu Fox Two, Papa Gold. A very nice signal to uh, Northern England. I guess when you can, if you could give me a quick report on the an antenna I'm trying out. This is Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. Uh, just a second, let me uh, let me get my beam uh, uh, down towards you. Uh, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo, Sierra. I'm not sure if I got the call right because uh, my antenna was about 300 degrees to the north to west. But I'm now on about 210 to 215 degrees. So uh, come on one more time, LA3XIA listening, over. Yeah, Roger. I'm just writing your call down. LA3XI, and then you have to just give me the last bit. 
But uh, fantastic signal, uh, 20 to 30 dB over. And thank you very much indeed for uh, coming back there. My name's Simon, and I'm located near Bradford, between Bradford and Leeds, in a place called Bailden. I usually use a free element Cushcraft uh, five-band uh, mini beam, but I'm just experimenting today with uh, a homemade Delta Loop, which I made a couple of days ago. Put it up in the tree in the triangular configuration and uh, fitted a ballon and uh, today I just adjusted it up, got it to uh, resonancy on this uh, frequency, about 1.1, 1 .1, uh, just slight flick flickering of the uh, needle, but very little movement, so I'm pretty, pretty pleased with the results, it's receiving very well and it's also working on 10, it's just for a bit of fun and um, I've got it in the dining room, so not really my main station, uh, I'm running an 8, 890 from Yesu, usually use the DX101 MP, but I'm just sat in the kitchen uh, playing around. But the fantastic audio, you sound like BBC, uh, well, probably, I'll, I'll have to say you sound like uh, CNN or Sky. Fantastic, perfect quality. So back to you from M0YKS. Yeah, wonderful. Thanks a lot, uh, Simon. M0YKS, LA3XIA, returning. Uh, thanks a lot for the good report and the flowers. U59595 uh, here. 59 plus 5 dB. Uh, good signal, very strong signal actually. Most of the stations here have been around 9, so your uh, Delta Loop uh, is uh, doing a very good job, that's for sure. So, no problem. And uh, when I got my antenna pointing to you, you went up from about 5 and 5 to 5 and 9 plus 5, so. <laughs> Very good copy, uh, Simon. I will go uh, soon. Go QRT here, so I won't hold you long. I'll just um, turn the antenna towards uh, Belarus, about uh, 120 degrees for a short while, and uh, then we will be going uh, QRT, Simon. Running here a um, software-defined radio from uh, Sun SDR. It's a Sun SDR 2 DX and uh, running an 8 element uh, multiband Yagi up about 22 meters. But uh, on this band, on 20 meter, it works as a 3 element mono band or full size. Uh, take care, Simon. Good luck. And the antenna is doing wonderful. There's no doubt about it. So uh, I'll put it back to you for a, a final. So, M0YKSLA3XIA. Ah, oh, fantastic. I just think can't catch your name, but uh, your fantastic audio. Just give me the name. Oh, sorry. Maybe I forgot to say it. <laughs> Moritz is the name. Mike Alpha Uniform Radio India, Tokyo, Sierra Moritz. Or, uh, as you probably say in your country, Maurice. Uh, back to you, M zero Y K S L A three X I A. Roger, Roger, Maurice. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, L A three X I A. What a signal! Uh, that um, uh, eight element Yagi is doing a super job, and the Sun S D R two D X sounds awesome. The uh, audio quality is fantastic. I am not just saying that; it really is superb. I'm making a quick video, by the way, uh, to record your quality of audio and also. Um, show how well this antenna is working so I'll, I'll shortly edit it and put it on uh, YouTube but I cannot believe how good you sound through this old 890 this classic transceiver sounding better than my FDDX101 MP at this present moment but I'm only kidding there hi hi but it's uh, very good so thank you so much for the time uh, Moritz and uh, it's a real pleasure to uh, be able to have a quick QSO with you uh, before you head off in the Belarus direction I wish you all the very best DX your equipment sounding fantastic. Real pleasure to uh, have sneakily called you there. I'm really glad I managed to get you to come back. And thank you for the great report. Very happy with the uh, homemade Delta Loop. I've made, um, this is my third 20 meter band Delta Loop. And I have a, I've made a 40 meter band one in the past. And I had an 80 meter one up previously, about 10 years ago or more. So I enjoy making them. But I do have a dipole uh, for 80 and 40, a vertical, multi-band and a, and a five element Yagi, uh, sorry five band three element Yagi so we're okay for antennas as well as some satellite antennas as well but you can never stop playing and making stuff that's the fun 
So thank you very, very much. Have a great weekend and many DX, and I'm sure I will hear you again. Lima Alpha 3, X-Ray India Alpha, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra, over. Yeah, wonderful, uh, wonderful, Simon. Um, uh, zero YKSLA 3 XIA for short super. That's great. Nice to hear that it's sounding okay. Uh, and you, you mentioned the FTDX 101 Delta. I, I'm very familiar with that radio. I've had it for now. I still have it, as a matter of fact. Uh, the third year, and uh, that is an amazing radio. I love that radio. But uh, when I'm playing, playing with the audio, I, uh, I prefer uh, using the, the Sun SDR2. Seven trees, take care and uh, all the best, and we'll be turning the antenna towards uh, Belarus just to say hello to a friend. All the best, Simon, and uh, good job, and zero YKS, LA3XIA. Cheers and beers. Yeah, cheers and beers, Maurice, and uh, have a great afternoon. Many thanks indeed. I will hope to catch you again, and we'll chat some more. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, and all the best. This is... Uh, Wow, that was a, a little sneak uh, bonus of 20 meters, also resonant without the ATU, a cra cracking signal from uh, Lima Alpha 3, uh, what were it, X-Ray India Alpha, Moritz. Let's go check this antenna out again, I've uh, trimmed it up and I've kind of permanently fixed it now, shortened it and uh, made a bit of a better job of the fixing. And that'll be the end of the Delta Loop stuff for a while until I um, try a different size one. I think that's probably going to be the next experiment. We've got the final adjustments, slightly shorter now. So I've just tidied up uh, the um, centre point. I've moved the feed point and raised it slightly and tidied it up. So I've just fit, I've attached it to this stake and you can see I've still got the choking line and um, the same technique it seems to be working pretty well. I wouldn't normally connect a ballon like this, but this one is actually working. So, you know, they all saying if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it's configured now. Um, finally, so this is the uh, Delta Loop homemade, which I've, I've been showing you for the past couple of days. As we uh, show you how it goes up into the tree and then back down the other side. I just got the other side. So we're at the other side, and obviously it goes up up to the tree, up to there. I ended up uh, cutting off a short, uh, well, I think about four feet of wire. So I had it made originally at 72 feet and I've dropped it down four feet shorter. So it's 68 feet and it's, uh, as you've seen, resonant on 20 and 10 and 12 and uh, now tunable, uh, it's about 1.7 on 15. Uh, and let's have a quick think about it, it's about 1.5 on 17 and we've got a bit of tuning to do on 40 but i made a few contacts already on 40 meters so it's working brilliantly last night i was listening to stateside and the, the the clarity on 40 meters was awesome i was getting s9 i tried it on the vertical on the other radio my main station and it was actually sounding better on this so who knows i may be swapping things around so that just about concludes the delta loop 20 meter um, band one that is at least until i make one for possibly 40 meters uh, I won't mind making one for 80 metres. I did have one for 80 metres before when I used to live on top of the moor in the uh, moor top cabin. So that was pretty cool. I know what they're like. They work really well. Excellent on received, very low on noise levels. And I'm just pleased that that one's worked out so successful. Replace the one that got wind damaged, which was in a different tree. So this one seems to be even better. I've got a better configuration, more of a triangular shape. I've got it configured so we've got two sides longer and a shorter bottom so it's a bit like a steeper triangle now I started off with a more equilateral triangle but now we've brought it around so we won't bother going to the hypotenuse but we'll certainly see what the DX is saying hope you enjoyed watching the uh, making construction messing around and finally the uh, end result of the Delta Loop antenna home brew with M0 YKS that one's cut for 20 meters 
like I said, around about 67 to 68 feet of wire. If you cut it 68 feet, it gives you a little bit of leeway, or possibly 70 feet and trim it down. Simple enough to make. I've added a thought of one old junk ballon from a Carolina Wyndham, and it is working. A weird kind of configuration how I added it, I don't, I don't deny that, but it certainly is doing the job. As you've seen, two D DX contacts working well, two different bands. 73, catch you later, and if you are doing the contest, good luck in it. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.